All right, let's see if Ned can finally get on the board or if this is just gonna be a 6-0. Okay, going for a grenade combo of your own. That, that's a big deal. Starting to find like those real grenade combos. Should it be a dead snake? Yes. Yeah, super Solid. dead snake. Sitting at 59%, that's just one quick bane at a combo. Will he be able to find the opening he's looking for? Rare heal slide from Geis. Yeah, and Ned is using that ground speed of Sephiroth to just really understand how to stay away from it. And that's why you don't see too many heal slides from Geis. It's Geis maybe thought there might have been like a roll in or something. Well, now that you say it's rare, he does it twice in a row. I mean, just <laughs> the higher level you get with Bayonetta, the less you see those, those grounded heal slides. Just because she has so many, like, safer, better combo starters. Yeah, Afterburner Kick is a similar burst option, but it just provides a little bit more utility and a little bit more mix-up. And just like that, Particularly that on a whiff. One, it's so strong, so safe. And there oh. you go. I'm mining and I'm crafting. Plus, you need that iron to get out of the corner anyway, so low-key, not that bad of a decision. High-key, they should call it Minecraft. That's like a... Oh, yeah. Oh, he gets shield broken, oh, though. That's going to no. be a stock. Giga Flare, goodbye. Oh, Gig and the forward tilt to add insult to injury. Ugh. Yeah, right? That would just really speak to Ned's mental game. Oh, Jen versus Akala. Game 5 now, by the way. Jen well on his way to reverse 3-0, as opposed to a reverse 3 stock on the other Steve currently playing on stream. And Jake at 49 for 58 percent. Yo, hold up. Is Ned about to do it, it's man? It's slipping think away. Is. Jake bouncing in his chair with every fair Ooh! to the top. That's going to put him deep off stage again, and Ned has taken the lead. That's the last of his iron as well. He needs to make that minecart count. Okay, he gets another one. Oh, no way, Ned! There's no way. Yeah. Grand finals, come on! <laughs> <laughs> dash attack. You like that up, dash attack? That grab. Yeah. Up air, forward. Oh, what? He lost the jump, too. All right, no, hey, Ned's back in the lead here. That down tilt. Dude, wh why does every DLC character have that down tilt? He's dead! Whole goddamn thing. Yeah. Can't, can't oh, yeah. Octo Slash. I mean, we, yep. we have not seen a lot of Octo Slash in this set. I mean, Chef was doing a really good job. It puts you barely out of the range of the Octo Slashes. That's fair. And you took, he took, like, Ned took 40, so I can understand why Ned hasn't been going for that. Dash attack out of the corner once again. Yeah. Bomb out of shield, predicting the roll. I mean, you can't, it doesn't feel good to jump, but really good awareness on Ned. Not biting to Monty's bait. Dash back, dash back. See if you want to. You want to dash back? I feel like it's coming. He was just waiting for Ned to retreat far enough so he could take stage over. That was actually really smart. <laughs> da, da, da. Oh! What did no. I say? What I say? I'm not gonna say it because that was Sephiroth. Say it, brother. Yeah, I'm sorry, now, nigga. Peace out, bro. Okay. Whoa! Through the shell, that, that, coast that, that coast. punish was crazy. Yeah. I was scared for a second. What, what, <laughs> uh, what Ned was doing, I don't know what that Octo Slash was. Oh, oh my god! I know what that down there is. Uh, doorstop, a player from Ohio who's a Midwest you know, staple, runs a really solid Squirtle. I'm seeing a lot of similarities between the two right now. Now, I'm not sure if Vivian, I'm not sure if they know that um, in Smash Brothers you pay the heavy tax. For real. For real. And uh, you kind of got admission already, though, you know? Yeah. They have 114 already. We'll see what they can do. Back throw? No. Gonna go for the triple. Okay, grab release. I like it. That's something I see Yoshi's do to get the jabs after. I like it. There Similar thing there. And this is what I was talking about. Charizard to deal with wing is kind of an interesting strat. You have the extra jump as well. You're heavy. Right? And we see both of them just kind of reflecting his face. But uh, I'm Sephiroth. I respect no opponent. <laughs> Just a run up, turn around, up till trying to get the back air from that side of the stage. Yeah, would have led in the back, back, back air. Sorry, that was a great up B. He, he is, he is very swift. He's very, he's very much a trickster. That's his, that's his play side. This is get sniped by several. Didn't get to see too much use of it there, but like, look at the burst option usage. He's using this uppie on stage to try to catch uh, Sen jumping in, because, you know, Ned's short hop is kind of, it's very low to the ground, so those swings from that Octo Slash is going to pick him up and racking him up that damage. Right now, Sen hasn't gotten too much from ledge outside of those PK Thunders, oh. and Ned is doing oh. so much pressure! Oh. He keeps going! Oh. One of the largest tournaments we've ever seen, Super Smash Con, with wins over people like Elegant, so like, this guy is not a surprise to see in the winner's top eight qualifier. And Siski's got his work cut out for him if he wants to make his way into winner's top eight. As we're already seeing here, he's down to a significant deficit all against Ned to start this off. And Dark Samus, she doesn't like playing from behind. And Ned's just looking to make it even worse for him. Oh wow! Goodness, the shadow flare. 
sliding up, uh, up tilt. A little interesting, because a fourth throw right here with Deep Breathe would have definitely taken it, and Ned is looking more so probably for an F tilt. Uh, so he's trying, trying to avoid that. Now this lead is starting to stack up for Ned. Uh -oh. Upbeat movement here. Try to get the snipe with the snaps. Oh, oh. my goodness. Oh, wow. Yeah, these snares are out of shield. They're like, you know, it's a good option, but that's a very limited space. And despite it being Ooh. not the best sword, like, in terms of, like, range, Ooh. considering, like, the sweet spot, it's still, in fact, a sword. <laughs> As he can keep his distance. Trying to go for a jab what? right there. Oh. Almost got the jab right there, too. Accidentally upbeat to the corner. I feel like it was accidentally upbeat to the corner. But, oh, Ooh. my God, the spike coming up. Yeah, you can't get past that spirit bomb of up here, man. That move is ridiculous. That is a spread, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> big fan of that big fan. That's what that hitbox looks like. Oh, he caught like. a jump? Oh my gracious, the, the two frame of that? Oh my goodness, okay, the lead is like fading quickly and it's over, he took it back. Oh my god, the poke too and he lost a jump. Fair and F tilt to cover like in front of him and then the up tilt and up smash to cover like um, above him. But unless Dr. Mario's right on him, in which case he could use Nair, it seems like he's struggling to cover like that vertical, if like uh, Dr. Mario's to jump in and land with Nair or land right, with an right. aerial. It seems like Sephiroth just kind of, kind of has to like shield and take it. Yeah, it definitely seems that way. It's not getting any huge punishes. All right, he burned his down B. Excellent yeah. counter on the up B. Nanigans a little bit on the side. Maybe the, the Hail Mary type of pass. When Ned gets rolling like this, though, it's so hard to stop. Mm -hmm. I thought we might have seen an up B, like did the bottom left corner there just to take Iken and another another suicide attempt here for Ned. I think, I think he was good after one. He's like, I don't need to, I don't need to worry about that. I, I have a full stock lead. I have another wing online mm -hmm. here. Yeah, Ned, Ned is a pretty calculated player in that respect, right? He'll, he'll go for the one big read and then slow things down. Especially when you're down 2-0, right? <laughs> Absolutely no white weight at mm -hmm. all. One of the heavier characters in the game. Now, Ned put on incredible pressure on this left stadium platform, just able to apply all these side B's mid combo Jeez. and just letting the up B's rip at such awkward angles. Iken's not ready for these. Yeah, Ned's advanced has just gotten better and better throughout this set. He's gotten a really good understanding of what Iken wants to do in disadvantage, and Iken has just not been able to respond. Let the Giga Flare go, and now reset with the side B in order to stop the focus attack. Send Iken all the way to the side, and yep. When we saw his cloud come out to play, I think it was versus uh, Comet. Comet on Final Destination. The first time he got Limit, he just didn't even fire it. He was just like, I want to be fast. Now you mention that, that makes sense as to why both Ned and Tweak like playing Sephiroth in this game. Because they liked the movement of Cloud, but he no longer has that for as long as he wants in this game. But with, you know, Sephiroth... What a I, statement I mean, on that edge guard.